I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to hear me because of all this wind, but uh, we're out here at Pam's property. There is the the ravine, and of course there is Fissure 8 with AB 8s there on its side. And we're here with some some great people. We've got David, which is right there. He's channel doing. That's uh, David, our channel moderator. He's visiting us here on the Big Island of Hawaii. And of course we have Scott and Sophia there. And Sophia has a vacation rental, which is where David is staying. So if anyone's coming to visit and they want to stay over in Waimea area, on the Kona side, let us know. We'll hook you up with Sophia and she, she can set you up. And of course here is Pam. And Pam is the property owner and she's been a wonderful friend and she's been so gracious to let us come out here and, and take a look today. <laughs> and apparently, oh, look at that there. Really? Okay, cool. Yeah, before the 2018 eruption, everybody, we had no idea this was here. Right there, I wouldn't go any further. No, that's where the ledge starts. Right. You can see where it is. Yeah. So you probably would be okay right there. Let's hold on to David. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, why don't the two of you go with him? <laughs> we have a depth perception that we could not get anywhere else. So when we would take pictures, and it, you know, we're in awe, so we just, oh wow. And then we would go home and look at the pictures. It looked like it was maybe. Twenty-four, eight, nine is over here. Then when I have it on my phone, I can show you. So he's got great pictures of it. Twenty-four came and went over the top of what eight had and started flowing. And we sit here and watch it flowing just like a fountain. It was the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. So here we'll show everybody into the lobster oh, mode. To oh right, well, and really it goes that. down pretty yeah. deep. Oh yeah. <laughs> if if that was actual gold, <laughs> we'd be uh, yeah. so rich. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The amount of gold actually in oh, this yeah. is very yeah. minuscule. Colors in here. Yeah, the colors. See, this is what we were talking about with the rainbow lava. It's, yeah. It's got every color of the rainbow in this lava. Yeah. And then you get pieces over there where the whole big chunks are, are you know colored. Yes. It's just amazing. Oh, and I don't know if y'all can see it there in the background, everybody, but there's the Ohana tree. What's left, left of it? What's left of it. It's hilarious. Yeah, it's still standing. That's the big trunk of an Albizia. That is so funny. And it's gone. It is gone. <laughs> oh, just amazing. Yeah, look at that. See those colors, man? Unbelievable. Oh, this is our little red cinder path that uh, Pam had put in. I don't think I brought y'all over here before, people. This is new for everybody. I think I'm going to go around this way and then over to the side that way. Okay. Gorgeous. Look at this. Look how beautiful. Oh, wow. That's a nice piece. Look at that, everybody. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. Look at this colors. Nice. Look at this. Part of the gas yeah. bubble. Yeah, that's 24. That's a baby eight, isn't it? This, this, 
Well, well, those are the baby eights up there. This is actually part of the 24 complex. This is actually the figure line. Um, oh, okay. Because see, what a lot of people don't understand is fissures aren't holes in the ground. Fissures are cracks. Correct. And there is a huge crack between 24 and, and 8, which goes up through, underneath the baby's 8. And that's what we're seeing here in front of us is that crack line. There's actually some uh, footage from uh, USGS uh, drone stuff that they finally released that you can see lava popping up through the crack all through here from 8 wow. to 24. And I get such like a, a lava bomb. Yeah, it's like this little pillar. Yeah. And there's actually that little pillar there, everybody. That is a small version of what's in the uh, lava river just outside the opening. Uh, uh, it's where the, the river split and run around. Yeah. Huh? Well, that, you got that one there, and you got yeah. this one here. We've got big, a big giant version in the lava river of it. And this is, yeah, where it basically acted as, so it could possibly be from a tree that, that blocked the lava and caused the lava to swirl around. So there might be a lava tree mold in there. Um, or it could just be a big chunk of material that got pushed up and it settled so the lava went around. Either a drone or a hive of bees. <laughs> That's those are birds over there. I hear. Well, I know there's a, a kid down on Nohea that has a drone, and he flies out here all the time. But I don't see it anywhere, so it must be over figure eight. The wind's carrying the noise yeah. this way. Yeah, the wind's coming this way. Yeah, but I don't see them. Are those markers up on top? Uh, yeah, yeah, they're uh, um, they're uh, survey markers. Okay. Yeah, uh, the gentleman that owns the back corner of right. Fissure Eight, he actually bulldozed his road up there and got him a driveway so he could get up to his his his, his lot. Well, apparently we stopped to talk and the group moved on without us. Right. But Scott went off in his own direction, so. Well, Scott's not part of the group anymore. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, he's over there doing his own thing. <laughs> so, so if you're on the live stream, check out this video later. And if you're watching this video, check out the live stream later. So, mine's on doing Hawaii and, and that one's on uh, Pau Hawaii Taurus. No spaces. No spaces. It's amazing. Look at that thing. Yeah, see, this is Fisher 24 amazing. itself. And unfortunately, we, we don't have permission to go over there. Yeah, I know. I wish we did. <laughs> it is like. If you want to imagine what it's like to be on Mars, there you go. Welcome to Mars, the future habitat of the human race. Still hot. Oh yeah, yeah, this is one of our hot fumaroles. So it's still hot. I don't know how hot. We don't have a thermal gauge, but it, it's hot enough that I could. If stung. I left it there, it would have it would have burned me. Well, that means it's over 200 degrees. Well, I haven't been out here in years. Well, this side of it, anyways. And some of these formations, man, are just absolutely spectacular. Oh, that is a nice one. Oh wow. Look at that. It, it's percolating. Yeah, we've been hearing it. We just can't find it. There is a drone. It's just, oh, it's one of those precipitates. Okay, let's see what all the... How 
hubbub is about. Hubbub is about. Oh my goodness. I need to take my glasses off. That made me dizzy. Wow. It just looks... It doesn't look real. No. I, I saw the video well, when uh, there was lava in here. Remember that? Yeah, it just, that ravine just doesn't look real. Y'all can't see it on the camera, but visually it, it creates some type of like illusion or an optical illusion on your eyes. Your depth perception is off and it almost looks like a backdrop that's been painted and just placed there in front of you. Well, I guess that helps give everybody perspective. He's, he's, he's right there, everybody. to go really slow. He had to pull himself up in a couple of places, but he did it. Ooh, look at that there, everybody. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. Now, that's a tree mold. And like I say, you can see the, the texture on the walls. Yeah, that's yeah. from the bark of the tree. So, so you see this texture? You think this is just from the rock, but it's not. This is the actual texture of the Ohia tree that was here and now is gone. And look at that there, everybody. Oh my goodness. We hope you enjoyed this little adventure out here around the uh, ravine off the, the backside of Fisher 8 and 24. Uh, mahalo to Pam for letting us come out here. Um, be sure to let her know down in the comments how much you appreciate it. And until next time, uh, mahalo for watching and you have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening.